I wanted to go back to this guy as per the request of one uh, Dian Du. I've covered this guy before. Native Soy Boy. He called himself once, I believe. Or he might... I think this is the same guy. No? He might be connected to that sort of scene. Brian Matthew Kim. And I'm a writer and educator living in Virginia. He'll you find my portfolio, my work, list of upcoming readings, and a blog that I'll update at least once a week. Is this the guy? Yeah. Well, let's listen. I think he tells a little bit of a story here. Like, yeah, he's going to read this out loud, this this, this audio thing, six-minute little blurb here. 14th, 2020. Breaking oh. points. Oh, that's right. This is the guy who says tweet. He tweet. That's how he pronounces tweet. Yesterday on our daily walk, something happened that really got under my skin. We were making our way back home, and there was a car driving towards us. The driver of this car, right as he was passing us, did something to make his car emit a very loud and startling screech. Oh, no. It kind of seemed like he slammed on his brakes. I wasn't paying attention to the car, so I can't say what exactly he did, but the sound made both me and Caitlin jump. I turned around to look at the driver, who was now sitting at a red light, and I saw him laughing at us, a kind of perverted joy on his face. He drove off, so and what? Caitlin said something like, The joke's on him. He's going to have to replace his brakes soon. And with that, she seemingly brushed the whole thing off. I had a much harder time. So yeah, the chick was like more of a man than he was about the fucking situation. <laughs> I wonder, I've been trying to visualize the kind of chick that would hang out with this guy. Like total, like, you know, you braider kind of haircut. You know, like a riot girl, bull dyke kind of haircut. <laughs> that sort of thing. Where's like an abortion AF t-shirt, you know? Uh, Liesel7 says, I worked with a judge who was also a senator prior. His niece kept telling me he was into sex trafficking. I didn't take much interest because she was a bit methy, but now I'm starting to wonder. Yeah, dude. Judges, lawyers, bankers. I mean, they're all into some, like, cocaine, like, kid trafficking, rapey, like, satanic shit, dude. I mean, <laughs> they really are. It's like, it's not just, like, a caricature time letting it go the fact that the driver laughed at us indicated that he was that what he did was intentional the sound was far maybe. from an accident maybe not only that but we weren't his only victims it was shortly after he drove away that i remembered he dude this is why boomers are such assholes about like oh you're a victim culture it's like because people that are like this for some reason get to claim to be victims okay it's boy who cried wolf, man. It's, it's not healthy for society. 30 seconds prior, presumably to another group of people walking further ahead of us. Repeated behavior, plus his unapologetic demeanor, meant that he was just fucking with us. He was being an <laughs> asshole. Base Chad. Now look. Dude, like total Cobra Kai move. Hell yeah. There was a I wonder, what's this dated? June 4th, 2020. Okay, so they were probably like wearing masks and looking like an idiot, so... The time when I was young Based. and dumb, too. In college, I'd sometimes go jeffing with my roommates when we drove through campus. This was a game one of my roommates, the one who had a car, invented. The rules are simple. You roll down your window, pick your mark, and say, Hey Jeff, like you know the person. It was very dumb and very stupid, but we got a kick out of it. That's just harmless. The driver of the car who startled us was young, too. A man, of course, because I feel like it's only young men who do stupid shit like this. No. He wasn't white, but... No, 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 actually. Uh, Barbie out there. You know who you are. Um, no, this chick... Uh, I mean, numerous chicks have yelled shit out of the car windows at me before. You know what I mean? Like, that's a total fucking lie. It was, since I only saw him for a second. I don't I mean, remember like the type drunk of car. Party I don't even remember the color of the car. All I remember is that smirk. That smirk said it all. It said, I'm not sorry. It said, I have more power in this situation. It said, <laughs> you can't do anything. In the smirk, dude. This is this is how they're trying to pathologize white people, dude. And this is how they got the Covington kid, if you remember. How he smirked at the fucking idiot, fucking native fake actor, like stolen valor idiot, banging a drum in his face. Response. The smirk. The smirk to these people just denotes like, oh, I have power over you because I did a prank. That's the part that really what? got to me. The reason why the driver could pull his little prank is because he knew he wouldn't have to be held accountable. There wasn't anything I or anyone could do except take it. 
The older I get, it, the less and less patience I have for people being assholes. If someone does something shitty to another person, I want that perpetrator to face consequences. Accountability is suddenly very important to me. I want assholes I want to learn that if they do something bad or mean or spiteful, there are repercussions. What's frightening is that in those moments of rage, I often turn to violence. I want fake, like, virtue signalers who, th like, have the prestige of being perceived as a good person, but they're really fucking horrible, conniving, manipulative assholes. I want them to pay, Once. actually. When the upstairs neighbors are being loud and obnoxious, I fantasize about bashing down their door. After seeing the driver smirk, I wanted to run up to his window and gouge his eyes out. Wow, As we dude. continued our... And this is like daily fucking thoughts from minorities, dude. When they look at you, I guarantee you, like that's. <laughs> if you see some like, you know, disparate faction member walking past you down the street, they're wearing a mask, and maybe you're not because you're based in Chad about this whole stupid fucking mask thing, dude. I bet you fucking dude, a decent chunk of them are fantasizing about what that dude just said or something not dissimilar. That's a common occurrence. Back home. Just for like smirking and looking at him the wrong way or not wearing a mask or something or whatever. I told Caitlin how much the incident with the driver bothered me. I censored God. myself and told her I wanted to run up to the driver's window and poke him in the eye. But if I'm being honest, I didn't want to just poke him in the eye. I wanted to cause severe and permanent damage. Now, before... So, yeah, you gotta keep... You gotta keep people like this, you know... You, 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 you gotta keep people like this out of your neighborhoods. You gotta keep people like this out of your schools. You gotta keep people like this out of your libraries. You gotta keep people like this out of your daycares, out of your social work, whatever it is, dude. Out of your drag queen story time that you shouldn't even be having in the first place. This is the guy, kind of guy that'll be fucking attending or organizing it. <sighs> Why? How? How did we allow this? Before anyone gets too worried. Hi, mom. I'm not the type of person to actually do anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not violent, and mm -hmm. I'm awful at confrontation, so you don't have to worry about me getting arrested. But if anything, knowing that about myself getting only makes me feel more riled up in the moment, because it adds to the years and years and years of just letting things go. I equated the incident with the driver to a microaggression. Mm -hmm. It happened very quickly, very unexpectedly. I thought the word microaggression was like on the way out in the past couple of years. I thought they stopped using it after people memed it so fucking hard back during like, like back when Milo was relevant for fuck's sake. We were left dazed, confused, startled, angry, powerless. This is also closely related to the experience of being catcalled. Wow. I think the reason why my thoughts don't turn care. to such severe and permanent damage is because. Hey, can I fucking just say I don't give a fuck if you're catcalled? <laughs> Fucking care. <laughs> Shut up. Because I want these people, our upstairs neighbors, the driver, to experience the same kind of lasting repercussions that I feel being a person of color. Mm, no. White people are seen as the default. White people can think of themselves as raceless. If only. I cannot. No, no, it's not good to think of yourselves as raceless, you disingenuous framing asshole. No, we're forced to think of ourselves as raceless, raceless or we get canceled. But I look racially ambiguous. For example, sometimes people will come up to me speaking Spanish, but in that ambiguity, one thing is clear. I don't look white. This week saw the death of yet another black person by yet another police officer. Rayshard Brooks fell asleep oh. at a Wendy's drive through Okay, Rayshard Brooks. Okay, yeah, he pulled a taser on the cop. On Friday night, and when the cops came, they performed a sobriety test, which he failed. There was some kind of scuffle as the <laughs> officers took him into custody. and Some kind of scuffle, okay. Brooks ran away with one of the cop's tasers. Another police officer chased Brooks and shot him three times. In the okay, there you go. He lies by omission, as all progressives ever do, 100% of the time without exception. He tells the truth up to a point. He says, yeah, Rayshard Brooks ran away with his taser, and then the cop shot him through. Like, okay, okay, we see what you did the there. Back. Shot him in the Yesterday, back. Yesterday, protesters set fire to the Wendy's, where the police shot Brooks. Oh yeah, and then the and then uh, was it before or after? Then Wendy's gave BLM like five hundred thousand dollars, setting the absolute backwards precedent that if you burn shit and hurt people, you get cash from corporations. Oh, how delightful! I get it. I understand it. Or you can Blake treat people can like that. shit for only so long before they reach a breaking point. And Caitlin suggested I use a pillow to hit the couch. By the time we actually got home, then I had calmed down enough and didn't need to vent. 
but in another situation, in another context, I can see where I would want to tear down a Wendy's. No, you're a disgusting piece of shit, dude. Wendy's fucking gave these people money, man. Uh, George Floyd's family, by the way, wouldn't it? Didn't they get like twenty-seven million dollars from the taxpayers? Why? Because their kid was like <laughs> shown on TV, like what, ODing on drugs that he took, and during that process, he had a knee on his neck. There's no autopsy report that proved that there were any fatal injuries. That once that evidence comes out, like how many more cities are gonna fucking burn, dude? And fuckers like this, you know, are encouraging it. He thinks it's okay. He thinks fucking a white person, like, like being recklessly driving, I, okay, yeah, because that's the fucking rule, right, okay? And then doing a stupid little fucking prank, he thinks that's grounds to gouge his eyes out and then burn a Wendy's, like, or, you know, Rayshard Brooks pulling a fucking taser of the cop on the cop and then getting dealt with, like, that's caused to fucking burn a Wendy's. Well, to Even though, when, again, Wendy's gave them money. It's like, the thing I find so disheartening is this. If we can't expect a complete stranger, the driver, to treat us kindly, then how are we ever going to reform the police to treat people of color with respect? Cully, cully, tweet. This guy's a teacher at Queens. Yeah, he's like an English teacher or something, isn't he? It's so disgusting. Put another way, if we can't hold the asshole driver accountable for his actions, how will the police ever be held accountable for their actions? The police are hyper held accountable for their actions, dude. I don't know what you're talking about, man. It's just that the vast majority of time it's fucking justified. This is why He's you likely liar. heard the phrase defund the police in the past week or two. It's a scary sounding idea that's not at all scary, as this article from The Cut explains. No, it is scary because as soon as they did it, fucking crime skyrocketed, dude. In Milwaukee alone, it went up by like, it, it went up to like 200%, dude. Murders. Like shootings and murders, dude. What? I've said it before, but I think COVID. Yo, Stephen Hayes, uh, you won over a hundred bucks. Shit, man, you want me to do a video by Gavin McGinnis? Shit, man, head on over to subscribestar.com/slash Dirt's the Worst and throw me some of that money, bro. I will be glad to cover that video for you in a stream. The Hell yeah! Has pushed all of us. Nine dollar a month uh, tier. I will do that fucking video for you all day. White, black, liberal, conservative, to a breaking point. What we're witnessing is a release of the pent-up anger and fear and anxiety and stress and powerlessness that Psycho people looking at Facebook, uh, you know, like uh, sponsored advertisements that tell them what type of politics to have, and the politics are kooky as fuck. We as a nation have felt for the past three months. Protests, riots, destruction, these are visceral ways to vent, to let it out. One thing seems clear. Many, many... Many of us are ready for change. Piece Let us shit. take from these ashes and rebuild something better. Rebuild something better, like everybody being shut down with fucking COVID masks and businesses rioted and burned and regulated and ticketed out of existence. Yeah, quote unquote protesters. Yeah, I like that. They're fucking violent, bankster funded, fucking arsonist rapists who try to fuck with Kyle Rittenhouse, get dealt with, get some. Chaos. What does this guy have to say next? So much for Sunday's tarot reading ushering in a new era of control. I knew this week was going to be a contentious one, but I had no idea that it would lead to what happened today. After President Trump directed his followers to storm the U.S. Capitol... No, he didn't. Um, Stop lying. He said, fight for what you believe in. That is not legally in any fucking way, shape, or form. Incitement. It's, it's just shut mob up. Mob marched to the heart of America's democracy and broke in. They were fucking guided in by the cops. Blah, 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 the blah. The protest Stop lying. They put their feet up. Into yeah. a riot. So he's, okay, yeah, so I see what's happening here. This is one after the other, like, and the other one I just watched. It's like June 20th, okay, yeah. <laughs> a few months later, he's got this double standard when it's like a way more mild and way less frequent uh, white, white riot. Turned know. into something of a coup. A doomed to failure coup, but an attempted coup nonetheless. This guy's a smart. At around 2 fuck. p.m. today, I opened up a tab for the New York Times and let the Senate procedure play in the background while I continued to work. Someone from Arizona was defending the state's election procedures when suddenly the audio from the live feed cut out. At first, I thought it was maybe my internet or my computer, so I switched back over to the tab and saw a handful of what I assumed were Secret Service agents trying to usher out members of the Senate as quickly as possible. Shortly thereafter, the video, the video feed went dark. That page also had a live chat among various New York Times reporters, 
and that was where I got my news for the next half hour or so. The reports kept escalating. People were gathering outside of the Capitol steps, then they started knocking on doors and breaking windows, then they actually rushed and... Is he gasping over this after we just heard him in, wait, the previous podcast I did of his... From months prior, he was, like, literally celebrating the BLM riots. He was calling them protesters and saying it was just venting over frustration. Again, it's like, no, no. <laughs> Richard pulled a fucking weapon on a cop that was deemed by that DA previously as assault with a deadly weapon. And that very self-same DA was trying to... We all, we all remember the story. He was trying to go after the cop for, like, murder, like... First degree murder for that. Side, <laughs> it's like to the point what? where you probably it's like death seen penalty pictures. potentially. A man grinning like this is a game as he. And so he's like, oh yeah, he's like he's gasping in horror all of a sudden at this. Carries a thing. podium. The guy in the Viking hat who reached the main Senate di- dais and proclaimed that Trump won. Yeah, he put his feet up on the desk. Big fucking whoop. Whoops. He put his feet up on the desk and he's gonna pretend to kvetch about it for another minute and a half, three minutes. Whatever. The Times reporters were also quoting various Trump family members and those close to Trump. My favorite was Ivanka's first tweet, calling the rioters <laughs> "quote American patriots." There were also a good number of Republicans who said something along the lines of, "I don't recognize our country today." The thing is, though, Republicans let this happen. What's the harm? You're such a fucking piece of shit, man. Ted Wheeler allowed autonomous zones in Portland to happen. He marched with with them, dude. What? I'm in humor. These people are in charge of teaching like 21 year old girls, dude. Maybe not this guy specifically currently, but people with this very self same mindset. Bring him, Mo said. Corrupt Trump people immediately dude. began to denounce the election. Well, now we know the answer to that rhetorical question. Two months of humoring Trump will lead to this. That's why these comments from Republicans condemning the actions of the rioters just makes my eyes roll. Uh, Republicans lamenting, I don't recognize our country, is like Dr. Frankenstein lamenting the creation of his monster. Here's what happened today, just to be clear. As Congress met to certify the Electoral College's results, a small group of angry, entitled, mostly white Trump supporters (laughs) sowed chaos to disrupt... Angry, entitled, I mean, how many of them were misprescribe some bullshit you know they're maybe drug addicted maybe they're like junk food addicted people you know they live in a small town that's uh whatever manufacturing sector has been hollowed out by globalization and outsourcing and what's left has been replaced by machines automation and immigrants uh angry white entitled men who actually fucking work for a living while this fucking faggot sits in an air-conditioned fucking ivory tower and fucking judges people with knowing absolutely nothing. He's just lied the entire time. He has no knowledge of any of these events. Every last fucking thing he said has been a lie. <sighs> RWDS when Democracy. They're sore losers who are fueled by a petulant, childish charlatan, and the Capitol Police did very little to stop them. You fuckers spent fucking four years burning the country. When Trump was being inaugurated, Antifa fucking flipped cars and fucking burned shit in the Capitol. You fucking lying piece of shit. This is disgusting. Yeah, no, not for the reasons that, yeah. Once the Trump supporters were inside the Capitol, they hung a Trump flag. They hung a QAnon flag. They hung a Confederate flag. Outside, someone hung a noose. This is who these people are. Okay, whatever. We're supposed to come together and be one? Fuck that shit. No, I, 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 I agree. Fuck that shit. If you're a conspiracy theorist who loves Trump and the conspiracy theorist, like oh, poor black people are being systematically hunted by cops. Yeah, I know. yeah, no, exactly. If you're a conspiracy nut, yeah, I don't want to fucking. If you, oh yeah, COVID masks are good for people. Shutdowns, oh yeah, social distancing, that's good for people. If you're a fucking credulous idiot who believes everything mainstream media fucking tells you. And you hate white people? Yeah, no, I don't want to fucking share a nation with you. you. So much? No, I don't. And you can fuck off. Yeah. What nah. are you contributing to society? Yeah. What worth? No, yeah. What are you con- What are you contributing to society? You fucking parasitic fucking public school teacher piece of shit, indoctrinating the youth culture with this fucking bile, this garbage. You possibly off? It's just it's just lies of omission. That's all it is. Speaking of flags, I saw many American flags in the crowd. Of course. But perhaps the weirdest yeah. thing I saw in all the coverage was a flag for South Korea. I noticed it on one of those wide-angle shots outside of the capital. Rooftop Koreans, bro? I have no idea who chose to bring a South Korean flag to a Trump rally or 
what they could possibly mean by that. That's how out of touch he is. He doesn't know the meme. He doesn't know the meme culture because he doesn't care to look into it. Because he cares to look into some Guardian piece about it that lies because he wants to lie and perpetuate lies. But to as someone who is half Korean, I apologize on behalf of all Koreans. No marginalized group is a monolith. So even as record number of Asian Americans turned out to vote in November, and likely also for a Warnock and Ossoff yesterday, it's important to remember that Asian Americans are not fucking marginalized. They're good, dude. That not all Asian Americans think or vote the same way. Clearly there's one doofus out there being an idiot today. And on behalf of that dolt, I apologize. I honestly don't know no, dude. how- No, rooftop Asians are fucking based. Oh, fucking, I mean, they're the ones. They they're the ones fucking siding with the likes of Rittenhouse. When this is going to end? So hell yeah. I'm worried that this is just the warm up to something far larger and far worse on January twentieth. After making it two yeah. months with relative calm, I thought that maybe all of my fears and worries of violence surrounding the election were unwarranted. Today proved that if anything, I wasn't worried enough. This is who we are, America. We're only as good as the worst of what we have to offer, and it's hard to imagine anything worse than this. Right. The guy's fucking just robotic and telling lies. He's just programmed to tell lies. 